Welcome back guys. So we are back with another baby's favorites video. Um, today I'm gonna do like three to six months. Sebastian just turned six months. I cannot believe how fast time has flown. I also had a really quick question for you guys before I jump into the video. Since my channel is not all about mommy content, um, I'm kind of having trouble blending the two together. So I thought maybe I should just do like a mommy and baby series and do like maybe mommy Mondays. I thought that was really cute, even though this video is probably not going up on a Monday, but you guys get the idea. Uh, my first question to you guys, is that something that you would be interested in and maybe seeing a video every other Monday, so twice a month? If so, what other type of mommy and baby videos do you guys wanna see? I will leave my entire playlist down below so you guys can see what I've done already. And if you guys see anything else that you want me to talk about or share with you guys, I will definitely add that to a list. And if I get enough of you guys requesting that, I will start that series for you guys. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. Sebastian started teething right around the three to four month mark. Um, he got his first little tooth popped up at the five month mark. I tried so many different teething remedies you guys nothing worked i tried the little mitten the velcro one that you can kind of just attach to his hand because he was chewing on his hand a lot that didn't work it just kept like coming off it was like flimsy so as far as like i'm um, just having like a toy to chew on this was the only thing that worked for him it's got these little bumps on the bottom and it has these little bristles so he's able to chew on it on both sides and also i think another reason that it really worked out for him is because of the size it just fit around his little hand very perfectly there's another toy that it's like super popular that I had. I almost got rid of it because he just was not caring for it. It's this little Sophie the Giraffe, which I'm sure you guys have seen everybody talk about. This is one of the most popular teething toys. I tried to give this to him so many times and he just did not want it. Right when he turned six months, which is right after his uh, first bottom teeth already came out, he started loving this. And I think the reason he didn't like it before is because it was too big for his little hands to grab onto. But now he loves it because there's just so many little parts of this little animal that he can chew on. Like he likes chewing on the little face. Sometimes he turns it upside down and chews on the little legs. So if you guys were gifted this or you're thinking about buying it, definitely wait until around like five or six months or until their little teeth already come out to try this because before then honestly i would have put this in the fail pile because i didn't think it worked um he just needed a little bit of time as far as like teething relief for the actual pain um luckily we didn't have too many rough nights there was maybe two nights that i specifically remember either staying up or one of the nights we actually had to do children's tylenol because the um it was just so bad he was crying he was unconsolable which is not like him at all so i did try all kinds of like natural reliefs i tried those the amber necklaces that you put you put it around their neck or around their ankles it's kind of embarrassing you guys but i must spend over a hundred dollars on different bracelets and necklaces because I thought well maybe I just got a fake one um they're basically these little yellow beads I'll see if I can find one I'm sure I have one laying around the house somewhere found one I knew I had one I bought so many of these they're basically like actually found in the earth and they release some sort of oil with the heat of your body that's supposed to offer like healing properties um even people that suffer from like migraines wear them and for babies it's supposed to help them with their teeth pain and I know for a lot of people these actually do work for them but for our baby it just did not work but I did find a natural relief that does work and this is something that we have recommended to so many friends that have teething babies so these are camellia drops and not only do they offer relief for painful gums but they also help with like upset tummies because you know a lot of babies when they're teething their tummies also tend to get really irrita irritated um this helps with all of that. He actually loves the way this tastes. I've tasted it, it just tastes like water. It doesn't really taste like anything. This one I think I had actually told you guys in my newborn's essential that just did not work for us. This is the nose Frida. It's basically a little like suction thing. You put them in their little nose and you suck to get all of the mucus out. We still don't use this on a regular basis. I still prefer the little squeezy bulb that I showed you guys in that video. But this did come in handy around the four month mark. He got his first cold and he was so congested. So we did this nose Frida like four times a day and it just gets everything out because um, he was super, super congested. He got better within like, I think it only lasted like two or three days, the, the cold. Um, but yeah, I definitely recommend this if your baby is sick. So next up I have this little fan right here. This is, um, actually my sister bought this for me. This is just an awesome little thing. You can clip it on to 
pretty much anything. Um, the fan also rotates all the way so you can put it in any position because the way our stroller is we can't really hang it from above so it's perfect because we can actually clip it on on the bottom and then kind of angle it upwards so it's like shooting up his legs onto his face. So next I have these little straps. I pretty much have these attached to like everything. Our stroller, our car seat, his high chair. Basically you just loop a little toy around it and then you can attach this to something so that he still has access to it but when he lets go of it, it doesn't fall on the floor. And this has just come in hand. Sometimes I even wrap it around my wrist, like if we're out in public. So yeah, these things are just awesome. Highly recommend them. So here's something that I wish I would have discovered sooner. This is a baby wrap. Let me see if I can just put it on really quickly for you guys. You basically just drape it over your body like this. And then this is how you adjust it. You adjust it through here. You can make it you know, longer or shorter. And then this creates like a little seat and you just put the baby in there. So it is so easy to use. These little slings are just great to have around the house if you're nursing or if the baby just doesn't want to be put down, uh, which Sebastian did go through a lot of stages where he just wanted to be held 24 seven. I wouldn't recommend this for like all day baby wearing because there's no back support. And if you have a chunky baby like mine, this is not gonna cut it. And also this comes in so many gorgeous colors. I really, really wanted, they had this like really pretty green color, but it's been sold out forever, so I couldn't get it. Um, so I just got this one because it goes with everything. These are my absolute favorite onesies ever. These are his sleeping onesies. So I like to put them in something long sleeve with little footsies and a zip up just to keep them nice and warm at night. But this material is so incredibly soft, you guys. So this is um, from Old Navy. And it's a specific like line from Old Navy. So I will see if I can find the exact one and link it, link it down below for you guys. But this material is so soft, you guys. You will want to snuggle with your baby all night long when you put them in this. So as far as baby clothes goes, these are some of my favorite favorite things for him to wear. What I love about these is that they're little baby rompers so he's nice and cool during the day but they have um, just four little buttons on the bottom so it is a breeze when it comes to diaper change. I try to avoid anything that has like zipper in the daytime because that just means I have to like take off his entire outfit to change his diaper with this. I just take the buttons off, change his diaper, and then pop it back on. And um, I just found that with Sebastian, he does not like having all of his body exposed. He hates it. These are basically the same exact thing, but just long sleeve. I think I got this at H&M. Um, that's another thing a lot of you guys wanted to know where I like to shop for baby clothes. Um, Carter's is definitely number one because they always have really amazing sales. I also keep an eye out at H&M because they do have really good sales every now and then. Old Navy for those onesies that I told you guys and Amazon. I love um, buying stuff on Amazon. Like I like getting like these little hats um, from Amazon and the little socks that have like cute little animals on them that you guys see on Instagram. Here's an example of an outfit that I picked up at H&M when it was like I think 30 or 40% off. Um, it's just like a little hoodie with a little teddy bear and it's got the little buttons on it. So yeah, you can find really cute stuff like this on H&M. I would just bookmark it and then just check it every now and then and wait for a really good sale and then stock up. So as far as like where he's sleeping, this is kind of like a favorite and also a regret. So you guys remember the bassinet I shared with you guys in my newborn's essential. I really loved it. Honestly, I, I didn't regret it at the time. He grew out of it around four months though and then we decided that he was still going to be co-sleeping with us in the same room, but he just just needed something bigger so we ended up getting this um, bassinet called the arms reach which basically attaches to your bed so he has his own little safe space to sleep in but it still kind of feels like he's on the bed with us and it's so much roomier it also converts into a playpen so later on when he's able to like stand up we can lower the mattress so that it's safe for him and he doesn't try to like climb over it uh, and we can kind of use it like a pack and play. Now having this and knowing what I know now I wish I would have completely just skipped that bassinet that I had bought and just bought this to begin with because he outgrew that bassinet so fast and this is just so much more practical. He also grew out of his baby swing around the four month mark, but I don't regret that. That was money well spent. He used that swing every single day and it just helped soothe him. But once he outgrew that, we actually got him an activity center. I looked at so many different ones and just like read the reviews and like how the, the kids liked it. And I ended up going with this one by um, Skip Hop. And this is his 
favorite toy ever, you guys. So he started using this around the three and a half month mark. And since the day he got it, he absolutely loves it. The fact that it's been almost three months and he is not tired of those toys says a lot. And I actually put it in front of this huge mirror that I have in our living room. The mirror is anchored to the wall, by the way, you guys. I know you got some questions on that, but I put him in front of that and he loves just like looking at himself and playing with that. One thing we also got him is the jumper from Skip Hop as well. He honestly thought he was gonna love that jumper because he loves playing jumpy jumpy where I like let him bounce on my lap. He doesn't really care for it. He just prefers to be in his activity center for some reason. We also started using flashcards right around the three month mark and he absolutely loves these. They're just basically flashcards to help him learn words and um, but what's cool about these is that they're also textured like every single card so he can touch them. It helps with his um, sensory development. And the other side actually has the same word in different languages. You can pronounce it in Spanish, French, German, and Chinese. It's just another way for us to spend quality time together. I'm still exclusively breastfeeding him, so he's not he's not eating solids yet. He is going to start eating solids this month. We are going to start introducing him. Um, I shared with you guys in a past vlog that basically we're going to be doing baby led weaning, which is basically instead of pureeing all his food, we're going to actually let him just eat the food the way that it comes. <laughs> so the first thing we want to give him is avocados uh, because we love avocados and I just figure that's something really easy for him to eat. But I know I've been getting tons of questions about my high chair. So the one that I have is by Aurabelle. It's got like a little cocoon seat. So it starts like laying down and then you can put it all the way up to a seat. So we've been pretty much using that since he was a tiny, tiny baby uh, because we just liked having them like right there with us no matter what we were doing. And now that he can actually like sit up all the way, he loves being at like eye level with adults. So yeah, I do like high chair for that um the only thing i will say it's a little bit bulky and our dining room isn't that big so it does take up a lot of space i can't really comment on what it's like with actual food like how easy it is to clean up and all of that because i've never actually given him solid food on it so those are all the baby favorites that i have to share with you guys um like i said sebastian is six months so if you guys can think of anything that you think i will be needing in the um, next coming months let me know down in the comments um i think it could also help other people that are watching the video that go down there and read the comments and things like that if you're new to my channel i hope you subscribe i do upload every week and um yeah we'll talk to you guys next time bye